CIET NCERT presents audio book of mathematics for class 8 let's listen to chapter 3 understanding quadrilaterals page number 37 3.1 introduction you know that the paper is a model for a plane surface When you join a number of points without lifting a pencil from the paper and without retracing any portion of the drawing other than single points you get a plane curve try to recall different varieties of curves you have seen in the earlier classes match the following caution a figure may match to more than one type There is a table given here. The table has two columns: figure and type. One. Two straight lines meeting at an acute angle. A simple closed curve. Two. A curved line intersecting with itself. B. A closed curve. that is not simple 3 circle c simple curve that is not closed 4 two triangles connected to each other d not a simple curve compare your matchings with those of your friends do they agree 3.2 polygons a simple closed curve made up of only line segments is called a polygon curves that are polygons here we have images of polygons all the shapes given here are closed and don't have any opening curves that are not polygons here we have images of shapes that are not polygons the shapes are not closed page 38 try to give a few more examples and non examples for a polygon draw a rough figure of a polygon and identify its sides and vertices 3.2.1 classification of polygons we classify polygons according to the number of sides or vertices they have there is a table given here in the first column we have number of sides or vertices in the second column we have classification in the third column we have sample figure row 1 3 triangle shape of triangle row 2 4 quadrilateral shape of quadrilateral row 3 5 pentagon shape of pentagon row 4 6 hexagon shape of hexagon row 5 7 heptagon shape of heptagon row 6 8 octagon shape of octagon row 7 9 nonagon shape of nonagon row 8 10 decagon shape of decagon so on and henceforth row 10 n ngon there is no shape given here 3.2.2 diagonals a diagonal is a line segment connecting two 
non consecutive vertices of a polygon figure 3.1 there are multiple shapes given here p q r s a b c d e k l m n their vertices have been connected with dotted lines to form diagonals page 39 can you name the diagonals in each of the above figures that is figure 3.1 is pq a diagonal what about ln you already know what we mean by interior and exterior of a closed curve figure 3.2 there is a cloud given here inside the cloud is gray color this is interior there is another cloud given here outside the cloud is gray color this is exterior the interior has a boundary does the exterior have a boundary discuss with your friends 3.2.3 convex and concave polygons here are some convex polygons and some concave polygons figure 3.3 on the left side we have five shapes which are convex polygons on the right side we have four shapes which are concave polygons can you find how these types of polygons differ from one another polygons that are convex have no points of their diagonals in their exteriors or any line segment joining any two different points in the interior of the polygon lies wholly in the interior of it is this true with concave polygons study the figures given then try to describe in your own words what we mean by a convex polygon and what we mean by a concave polygon give two rough sketches of each kind in our work in this class we will be dealing with convex polygons only 3.2.4 regular and irregular polygons a regular polygon is both equiangular and equilateral for example a square has sides of equal length and angles of equal measure hence it is a regular polygon a rectangle is equiangular but not equilateral is a rectangle a regular polygon is an equilateral triangle a regular polygon why on the left side we are given four shapes these are regular polygons on the right side also we are given four shapes these are polygons that are not regular note use of double dash or single dash indicates segments of equal length in the previous classes have you come across any quadrilateral that is equilateral but not equiangular recall the quadrilateral shapes you saw in earlier classes rectangle square rhombus etc is there a triangle that is equilateral but not equiangular 3.2.5 angle sum property do you remember the angle sum property of a triangle the sum of the measures of three angles of a triangle is 180 degree recall the methods by which we tried to visualize this fact we now extend these ideas to a quadrilateral do this 1 take any quadrilateral say abcd figure 3.4 divide it 
into two triangles by drawing a diagonal, you get six angles 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Use the angle sum property of a triangle and argue how the sum of the measures of angle A, angle B, angle C and angle D amounts to 180 degree plus 180 degree is equal to 360 degree. 2. Take four congruent cardboard copies of any quadrilateral ABCD with angles as shown in figure 3.5 1. Arrange the copies as shown in the figure where angles angle 1, angle 2, angle 3, angle 4 meet at a point figure 3.5 2. Figure 3.4 Here we have a shape ABCD. A dotted line is connecting A to C. There are four angles in the picture. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Figure 3.5 1 Here we have a shape with four sides. The shape is ABCD. It has four angles 1, 2, 3, 4. Figure 3.5 2 Here we have four quadrilaterals connected to each other. Each quadrilateral has 1, 2, 3, 4 marked on every angle. At the intersection point of these quadrilaterals, we have four angles 1, 2, 3, 4. There is a cloud given here. Within the cloud, it's written, For doing this, you may have to turn and match appropriate corners so that they fit. What can you say about the sum of the angles, angle 1, angle 2, angle 3 and angle 4? Note, we denote the angles by angle 1, angle 2, angle 3 etc. and their respective measures by M angle 1, M angle 2, M angle 3 etc. The sum of the measures of the four angles of a quadrilateral is dash. You may arrive at this result in several other ways also. Page number 41 3. As before, consider quadrilateral ABCD figure 3.6. Let P be any point in its interior. Join P to vertices A, B, C and D. In the figure, consider triangle PAB. From this, we observe X is equal to 180 degree minus M angle 2 minus M angle 3. Similarly, from triangle PBC, Y is equal to 180 degree minus M angle 4 minus M angle 5 from triangle PCD. Z is equal to 180 degree minus M angle 6 minus M angle 7 and from triangle PDA, W is equal to 180 degree minus M angle 8 minus M angle 1. Use this to find the total measure M angle 1 plus M angle 2 plus dot 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 plus M angle 8. Does it help you to arrive at the result? Remember, angle X plus angle Y plus angle Z plus angle W is equal to 360 degree. 4. 
these quadrilaterals were convex. What would happen if the quadrilateral is not convex? Consider quadrilateral ABCD. Split it into two triangles and find the sum of the interior angles to figure 3.7. Figure 3.6. Here we have a quadrilateral ABCD. The quadrilateral has been divided into four triangles with the help of dotted lines formed with diagonals. There are four angles in the middle. Angle W, Angle X, Angle Y, Angle Z. The center point is marked as P. In the quadrilateral ABCD, there are two angles on A, that is 1 and 2, two angles on B, that is 3 and 4, two angles on C, that is 5 and 6, and two angles on D, that is 7 and 8. Figure 3.7. Here we have a quadrilateral in the shape of an arrow. You were just listening to the audiobook Mathematics for Class 8. Program Coordinator Dr. Rajesh Kumar Nimesh. Narrator Akash Ahuja. Technical Coordinator Batilang Lingdo. Sound Recordist Mayank Kumar Assistance in Production Soumya Malik Directed and Produced by Vimlesh Chaudhary Presented to you by CIET NCERT New Delhi, India